Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a vector mask inside of a group. Uh, this can be used, what I'm going to show you uh, is very basic, uh, but this can be used in many different scenarios where you would like to create more intricate graphics with many layers and more depth to them. So hopefully this basic lesson will kind of teach you how to do that. Um, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is create a group. So I'm creating a group because everything you're going to put inside of this group is going to be affected by this layer mask. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let me grab a photo. Place this photo here. I'm going to put the photo inside of the group. Sometimes it's hard to tell if a graphic is inside of a group, so I like to color my groups. So I'll color the group red. So as you can see, the photo is red. It's inside the group. This layer is not red, so it's not inside of the group. And I think that's an easy way to tell when your graphics are inside of the group and it just keeps everything organized. So I'm gonna click the group right here. I'm gonna go up here and use the rectangular marquee tool. Um, I'm just using this shape because it's fairly simple. You know what? I'll even do the ellipse tool. I'll do the ellipse tool so it looks slightly different than what it looks like right now. Alright, so I'm just do shift, drag. So this marquee tool will bring up a bunch of moving dotted lines. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the vector mask tool down here. So when I click this, it's going to pretty much take the photo and put it inside of this ellipse. Alright, so as you can see, this group, this black and white graphic right here is showing you the vector mask that you have for every single object inside of this group, which can come in handy. Uh, very well. So you can go ahead and resize it, move it around, and that's pretty much it. You can add another photo. As you can see, it's inside of the group. You can hide it. Yeah, it's just a, it's a great little tool. Um, it's a super basic right now but you know when it comes down to it you can make another group add a photo to the group hide that you can make your own shapes so we'll go ahead and do what shape do I want to do you know we can go to the the polygonal lasso tool and you can create a cool triangle we'll color this group green and then just press the add layer mask and there you go I mean this can add depth to a project And you can just do many different things. You can move it around. So I think that looks fairly cool already. So just a simple technique that can take you to much higher, more intricate ways of creating your graphics. If you guys have any other questions about how to use the Adobe programs, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Adobe Premiere. Please let me know down in the comments. Feel free to like my video, subscribe, share. Uh, if you'd like, please check out my website, trueform.com. I make graphic design, photo, and video for small businesses. Thanks for checking me out, and I'll talk to you later.